Get Busy Living Fishing Adventure was unofficially brought to you by Nesquik Chocolate Milk. Guaranteed to be the life of any Saturday night party with your Amish friends. What's going on guys? First catfishing trip of 2018. We have been out here in Oregon four days, three nights. Two of those nights I have spent in this exact spot fishing this hole for catfish all night. Remnants of a fire. Guys, had myself a, the fire going all night. I did have a cot down here earlier. It was a perfect setup. I guess the best place to start this story though is back Thursday. We got here in the afternoon, didn't know what to expect, but we were in for a time. I'm gonna set up right on this point right here. Guys, I was just out here with the boat. There's a really strong current right out there, but it eddies right around in here. And it's about 15, 16 feet deep right out there, right off of this little point. So I'm actually gonna do something I've never done before. Normally I come out here and I'm fishing all night. I'm fishing all night. Normally I come out here just with a chair, a cot, make a fire, etc. Guys, I'm actually gonna build myself a little just rustic tent using an old tarp and some pieces of wood that I bought from Home Depot. So, you know what, I figure fish need cover. Man, I like cover too. When I'm out here, get under something. Besides, it, we might get a little bit of sprinkles. It's a little bit breezy right now. So just be nice to be kind of under something, in something while I'm out here fishing. But guys, it's beautiful out here. It's probably 70 degrees right now. It's gonna be a little of about 50. There is a bit of a breeze right now, but for some reason, we've always done really good catfishing when there's a bit of a breeze. So I'm pretty excited, guys. Let's get right to it. This wasn't quite what I had envisioned. I envisioned splendor, large tent um, up with me being able to walk in and out. Maybe not quite that good, but I kind of underestimated the power of the wind. Uh, however, as you can see, it is up. It will, it will keep me dry for the night, that's for sure, if any of these uh, clouds decide to turn into rain. Um, the whole thing will probably end up coming down on me sometime in the middle of the night, but you know what? We tried, we tried. So I'm gonna stop fooling with this thing. We're gonna get a fire going and we're gonna get some lines up because the guy right behind me has already caught two catfish over there. And uh, uh, I'm done messing with this tent. He sends me out to fetch everything. Look at this. Dude, is that a blue? Channel? Wow. Dude, that's a nice one. I know, like three minutes out there. Seven or eight pounds, you say? Uh -huh. Probably close as to as big as the other one. Dude, that's fantastic. I know. Excellent, piece dude. Piece of crappie. Piece of crappie, that's fantastic. I got two. Nice. Guys, I, I went and pillaged from the um, fillet station a couple of crappie that guys, some guys caught. This is actually fresh. They just killed it and cleaned it. So that's going to be, we're going to use some of that as our bait tonight as well. Dude, nicely done. Guys, this is fantastic. Look, it's going to be a good night. I got him on that big chunk of crappie right wow. there. Wow. That's a big old chunk too, dude. So here's my weapon of choice. Just this nice slab of crappie on a circle hook. With my just small leader, about a foot. Big egg sinker in the water. Get him right out there where it's eddying. <laughs> Second catfish of the night of this location, Asa, right here, <laughs> boom. Look at that, dude. Fantastic. Uh, Sorry, dude, I, I've got a hook in my other hand, so I'd give you, I'd give you a fist bump. That. Another channel, probably it's... about four or five pounds. Yeah. Wow, dude. This is exciting. This wow. Is, what a way to start off the evening. I caught that one, and then you have time to cast it back out there in this one. No kidding. That's fantastic. Sweet. I got to get my line out there. Guys, guys, Asa just sat down. He's already getting a bite. Did you miss him? Did you get him? <laughs> guys, this catfishing is insanity. Holy mackerel. Guys, it, I'm sitting here <laughs> dinking around trying to get one. Ace is... That's a good one. Dude, yeah. that's a big one. Do I need to reel in? And a Quantum Energy PT rod. Oh, dude, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish right there. Guys, this is another piggy. <laughs> another piggy. Look at that, dude! <laughs> slide him right up on the muddy bank, bro. That. That's fantastic, <laughs> dude. Look at that. So the goal this trip for me is to uh, to try to catch a flathead catfish. I've caught 
channels. I've caught blues and I've caught bulls, but I've never caught a flathead. That's the goal this time. So I was just sitting down in my tent, texting my girl, and wham, we got us a catfish. It's been out for about two minutes. Nice channel catfish. Oh, thanks, Pops. Look at that, guys. There we go. Probably about four pounds, maybe five. Just right in the corner of the mouth. Here we go. Let's get him in the light there a little bit. Yeah, that's a good five pound catfish. Nice mm -hmm. channel. I'm on catfish number two now. Guys, it just took off. Oh, it's coming my way. Guys, I mean, it was just, there was no warning. It's just like if somebody were at the end of your rod and just grabbed your line and just started running. Look at that. Five plus and Pull him up. Look at that. Good grief. That, guys, is another nice catfish. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Left Very the bait. Beautiful. I mean, that's five, six pounds right wow. there. Beautiful, Mike. No Another shot. beautiful channel. Guys, we've got so many. I think I'm just going to let this one go. <laughs> this is just, this is fantastic. It just started going heavy. It wasn't a slam. This one might have some weight to it. Oh, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> look at that toad. Guys, look at that catfish. That is a porker right there. Another piggy of the deep. Big old ham bone. That might be close to 10 right oh, there. Yeah. Another nice. fat channel cat. All right guys, so it's got the scale for me. I say 10 pounds, but we're gonna see if we can make it official or not here. Oh, it's gonna be close. Nine. Nine seven, I would say. Nine, seven. nine pounds, seven ounces. No, nine point seven pounds. Oh, nine point seven pounds. Okay, so just shy of ten. Not a bad, pretty good eye then, pretty good eye. Guys, we've got so many catfish, I think I'm gonna let this one go. Probably a female. We're gonna let her get back out there. Get let her get back out there and uh, spawn out and have more babies so we can keep coming back here and catching more catfish. That was a fun fight. There you go. Keep on going, big mama. There you go, lady. Off she goes. She's doing well. <laughs> nice, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, what a night. It has not gone at all how I had expected it. The fishing has been crazy. I mean, from the moment we got set up, I mean, we barely got set up and the fish were biting. I think we ended up catching a dozen catfish so far. It's only like 10, 15 at night, and I'm packing it in. This is my rod holder, actually. Right here, right at the edge of my bed. And um, uh, I have the rod set up with a bell on it. I can keep the bugs from not flying into my mouth. No, it didn't taste too bad. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to have the big old crappie head on, um, bell on the rod, and uh, I'm just going to go to bed. Alright guys, so I am sitting in bed, and I literally almost just lost my rod. Check this out. My bell went off and my rod just started to tip up. Whoa. Oh, she's coming up. I'm trying to get my shoes on this whole time. It's probably about five in the morning. Oh, now she's slacking off a bit. But my goodness, she just slammed it. Oh. Dude, straight up snapped my line. Oh man. Just broke right off. That's 30 pound Tess. Oh man, guys, I didn't even see it. Like, I didn't even get to see it.
beautiful, beautiful channel catfish right there, guys. Early morning, like 5.30. Old man just came down. Hey, Pops, how you doing? Wow, I come over the hill and you got one of oh, Man, look at that baby. That is fantastic. That is what we're out here for. Sweet. Sweet. We're going to get him back in. We already have plenty of catfish right now. We're going to get him back in the water. All right, guys, back at camp. Guys, fantastic first night, but I am beat. I am going to get a shower. I'm going to get some breakfast. Might pop a rock star. Might pop a rock star in the shower. I don't know. Anything goes when you're fishing, but guys, it's been fantastic. We're going to get cleaned up, get some rest here this morning, and then uh, we're going to head out and actually try to get some crappie, lay into some crappie schools. Um, this afternoon and then it's gonna be right back at the catfishing this evening so I'm gonna go get cleaned up and then let's get after